Hey there, Wargamers, Josh here from MiniWarGaming.com, ready to bring you more Warhammer 40k goodness. Today I'll be busting out the Adeptus Custodes once again, by request from my guest, Michael. Michael has uh, bringing his Tyranids, and he's fulfilling his lifelong dream to come here to Mini Warrior to play against me specifically, because I'm definitely his uh, favorite. So without further ado, let's check out the armies. Taking a look at the armies, we're going to start over with the Custodians. So I am running uh, my Shadow Keepers once again, and of course, leading the force, uh, Trajan Valoris, who will be my Warlord. I've also brought a Shield Captain on Dawn Eagle Jetbike. Uh, all sorts of upgrades there. Uh, so we're going to go Superior Creation Lock Warden, and then he also has the Stasis Oubliette. I have a Blade Champion, rounding off my HQ choices. Troop choices, I have got two squads of Custodian Guard with Sentinel Blade and Shield, one squad of Custodian Guard with the Spears, and then I also have one Sagittarium Custodian Squad. Elite choices, I have a single Contemptor Dreadnought, uh, Contemptor Galatus, upgraded to be the Eternal Penitent. Fast attack choices, I have two identical squads of Avertus Praetors with Hurricane Bolters. Last but not least, I've got a Telamon Heavy Dreadnought, and that is my 2,000 points on the nose of Adeptus Custodes. Moving over to take a look at the Tyranid list. What do we got? Yeah, today I'm bringing uh, 2,000 points of my custom high fleet. Uh, I they have the following adaptations, Weep and Shadows, and Territorial Instincts. As HQ, we have a Hive Tyrant, um, then we have a Turbigon and a Tyranid Prime. In troops, I bring 10 Hormagons, 25 Termagons, 3 Warriors and 6 Warriors. And then in Elites, we have the Death Sleeper, 3 Zone Tropes. And in Heavy Support, uh, 1 Exocrine with Dermic Symbiosis, 1 Screamer Killer, and one Tyrannophrex with Acid Spray. Well, I think we're both running 2,000 points exactly. Yes. Beautiful, I love it. My OCD is satisfied. <laughs> Mine too. We play and call it work. Mini Wargaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. For the actual mission we are playing today, uh, we used a open war draft. I think you guys have seen me do this plenty of times, so you probably are familiar with it. But the objective is going to be storm their line. So there are six objective markers on the board, three in each of our deployment zones. And if at the end of your turn, uh, every objective that you have in your own deployment zone is worth one victory point. Every one in the enemy's deployment zone is worth two victory points. Goes five turns, whoever has the most points is the winner, pretty straightforward. We ended up with two twists today. First one's going to be blackout, so the maximum range of all shooting attacks and psychic powers is limited to 18 inches. And then we got, uh, I don't know how to say that word, so I'm going to skip it, we got, a, we got a cruddy atmosphere here. So units cannot advance and can only declare units within seven uh, inches as a charge target. So kind of a weird setup here, I'm curious to see how these armies perform with that. Here we go, forces are deployed onto the battlefield. So we are going to be using the whole um, Nachmund way to do uh, command points. So we start with less, but we're going to get one each turn. So deployment for the custodians, sword and board, bikes, bike captain, the Galatus, Sagittarium, Spears, Trajan, Telamon, and then uh, the rest of the bikes, blade champ, and sword and board. Over on the Tyranid side, what do we got? So we got Exocrine, Warriors, um, Tyrannophrex, Tervigon, uh, Termagans, Tyrant Guard and Hive Tyrant, the um, Tyranid Prime, six Tyranid Warriors, Screamer Killer, Zone Tropes, um, and the Hormagans. Cool. And again, quick reminder for the mission, even though we just talked about it, Psychic powers and shooting are limited to 18 inch range. You may not advance and you can only declare charges against the units that are within seven inches. That's gonna be a weird mission. And now the roll off. High dice roll must go first. Oh, roll low, low, low. Two, dang it! 
So we're gonna go Custodes at turn one. All right, let's see if we can't remember how to do this proper. So we're both gonna click up an extra command point. I believe we're both at three command points now, right? True. So we're gonna get that at the beginning. I also, for my three martial katas, I went Dakatari, Rendax, and Captaris. I'm gonna go ahead, Dakatari, I'm gonna do them in that order as well. Dakatari is gonna be first, and because this is almost kind of a throwaway one, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with, uh, this is almost kind of a toughy stance two. So that's the one that allows me to add one to my attack characteristic and bring my damage characteristic down to one. And it's not going to be huge this game, so it's going to be my throwaway turn one. On the Tyranid side, is there things that you need to do at the start of the turn as well? Yeah, um, I'm choosing the Turvagon Synaptic Imperative. It's uh, Searching Vitality at plus two to my movement. Sounds good. All right, pretty simple to get started. I'm going to go ahead and do my move. I'm going to show you where everything currently is and then I'll show you where it all ends up. Custodes turn one movement is done. Very simple. Again, not being able to advance. I'm kind of getting thrown, uh, getting thrown off here, but in an interesting way. So the bikes have moved over. Uh, they're out of range to be able to be targeted by anything. These guys are staying behind the runes. So they can't be seen. This blob has moved up in the middle here. And then I've got my Contemptor Galatus going off on his own over there. He will be in range to be affected by a whole lot of different stuff, but he's tough. He'll be fine. And then I've got the other bikes that have moved over, over here. And that is my moves completed. Psychic phase, done. Shooting phase, done, because I'm limited to 18 inch range. So just end of the turn, I'm gonna score one, two, three of my objectives, and that's it. Now we're over to the Tyranid side. Anything you need to do in your command phase other than the fact that we both earn a command point? Yeah, a bit. Um, so the um, Hive Tyrant uh, will hand out Will of the Hive Mind to the uh, Warriors. That's a reroll hits uh, wants to hit. Okay, cool. Um, for the rest, I have to think. Thinking is complete. The Turnit Prime uh, will uh, hand out his uh, Alpha Warrior um, thing to the Warriors. It's a uh, reroll hits to wound. Okay, so reroll uh, all wound rolls or wound rolls of one? Oh, sorry, one. Just one. Beautiful. Cool. And then uh, you could have handed something to the Termagants as well, but uh, they're not going to be in range, so we're not going to bother with that. Yeah. Coming to the other side of the board, because we got, I don't know, a bunch of stuff in the way, as you're supposed to in 40k, I'm going to show you where the Tyranids currently are, and then where they end up. Tyranid Gribblies have moved up, so the Hormagants are hanging out back here. Warriors moved over, Prime moved over. Basically, we're seeing a split in the Tyranid lines as the big Gribbly monsters start to move this way with Termagant support. Psychic phase is going to begin with the Turbagon trying to put Catalyst onto the Tyran effects. I'm getting the names correct. What's this cast on? It's cast on a six. On a six? Well, yeah, got as it. luck would have it, there's a nine, so you are Catalysted. Did it. Did it. Moving over to here, we got the Hive Tyrant next going for a smite onto the Dreadnought there. Getting. Not enough. No. Nope. That's what you get for trying to use your dirty, dirty psychic tricks against me. Zone Thropes next. Same thing, they're going to go for a smite. You get a big bonus to this. Plus three. Oh, that's pretty that's good. A super smite. That's pretty good. Well, how much damage did they actually do then? Um, as a super smite, it's d6. Just d6? Plus three. D6 plus, plus three. Okay, let's see what you got. Ah, uh, that's not good. All right, I've got uh, Unyielding Ancient, so six is to ignore. Come on. Ah, oh, he doesn't ignore! Darn, I didn't make a single roll in there. Uh, let's see if he blows up. He does not. Whew, okay. Hmm. That's all right. That happens. Impressive. I was counting on that taking two turns at least. Well, that happens sometimes. You got any more psychic stuff you got to do over here with the prime? No, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all. Let's move over to shooting. Starting the shooting phase off. Who's going first? Exocrine. Exocrine, and is he popping a stratagem? Yes, observer organism. How much does that cost you? One command point. So okay, I'm so you're down to three. Down to three, right? And <clears> six, and is, six is explode. Uh, two hits or two extra hits? One extra hit. One extra hit. Okay, not bad. Uh, how many shots are you gonna start? It's uh, D6 plus 
Uh, D3 plus 6. D3 plus 6. Okay, so I'm going to be a grand total of 7 shots. Hit on 3s, but 6s are good. Okay, so you get uh, 3 misses. You get to throw 1 back in because of the 6. So we got 5 hits total. What's the strength here? Strength is 8. Strength 8, so you're going to wound me on 4s. Ooh, not bad. We got uh, 3 wounding hits. What's the AP? Minus 4. Three wounding hits. I get a four pinfold save. Come on, Telemon. Uh, I'm going to fail one of them. So it's three damage. Uh, but I get to reduce that down to two. And then I get sixes to ignore. So I don't ignore, but I take two damage. What's next? To run effects. Yep, that's a terrifyingly large looking gun as well. Mm -hmm. Asset spray on the Telemon. Ooh, okay. How does that work? How many shots? So it's uh, D6 plus six. D6 plus six. Maybe eight shots. Eight shots. Strength six. You're gonna look for five to wound. Eh, not bad. You got three wounding hits, and that's on to the invuln save. And so we're gonna look for four ups. Passing two, failing one. Two damage reduced down to one, and then a six to ignore. No, it doesn't ignore. So that's okay. Goes down to eleven. Next, the ah, oh, it's the spine something, right? It's the stinger salvo. Ah, that's pretty close to what I said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how many shots? Eight. Hitting on threes. Oh, good. That's the same thing, kind of average. What's the strength? Five. So looking for fives. Two wounding hits. What's the AP? One. One AP. Uh, so we had a three up armor save, and I pass them both. All right. So that should be the end of the turn for you. Uh, getting some chip damage on the Telamon. Solid. Could be much worse for me. Killing off the Galatus is kind of a big deal. Throws off my plan a little bit. But, uh, I once again will be able to make do. So, you control your three home objectives. Boop, boop. And boop. So, you're going to get three victory points. And we're going to go over to Custodius turn two. Start of the turn here. Uh, I'm going to go to stance two of Rendax, which is the turn that I charge if I'm hitting a monster. I get uh, plus one strength. Kind of handy dandy. And then um, for the. I can't remember what it's called. Your, your, your... <laughs> the synaptic imperative. Yes, okay. The zone trope sending out warp shielding. So that's a four up involved for everything that's not a little gribbly. You now the little gribblies get a five up involved. Disgusting. Let's see what I can do about it. Uh, as we get ready for the custodies, once again, I gotta be very careful with measurements, so I'm probably gonna shut the camera off and then show you where all my models have ended up. All right, movement's complete, and I am committed because I have no other idea what to do. So, sword and boards still stuck holding home objectives. Uh, the Sagittarium moved over, still got one holding an objective in the middle there, um, but they're up to get some shots in. Trajan and company, everything's just moved up over here. I'm just being aggressive. And then sorry, on this flank, the bikes have moved up because I can't allow you to concentrate your forces the way I've done so. Uh, so I want to keep some stuff over here. So yeah, uh, that's, uh, we're gonna go over to shooting now. Shooting will begin with the, you know what, we're gonna do the bikes. Shooting into the termagants, uh, see if I can't get rid of some of them. All right, so two bikes in rapid fire. One is not into the term against hitting on twos. Trajan says, Hey guys, do better. This is uh, gonna be two volleys, by the way. Do better, fellas. And you do for the most part. Okay, nobody's getting sent back to custody school yet. And then we're gonna be wounding you on threes, re rolling ones, because again, Trajan says, uh, Do good. So I got a couple, I got a single one to re roll. Doesn't help. So in the first volley, you are gonna owe me 11 saves. And then the second volley here. There we roll. Yeah. And then these again are looking for threes with a little bit of help from Trajan. And we roll the ones. And uh, there you go. Perfectly average again. Another 11. Five ups uh, save. We well, saved a couple of them. But uh, he thinks there's going to be some decent damage. Six saved, um, 16 dead. Not bad. Next bit of shooting will be the captain on bike. I don't have great targets anymore. Uh, they both have two up saves on these two things, right? So, uh, whatever. I'm just going to put the shots straight ahead into the 
Uh, Tyrant effects, because that's the main thing I'm trying to kill right now. Twos. Okay, not bad. Not bad, buddy. And then he is going to be wounding on sixes. Uh, we got three wounding hits. And you get a two-up armor save on it. And you're fine. Uh, Custodian Guard with the spear is going to put shots over. i got to try to do as much chip damage as I can before I charge in. Uh, hitting on twos. Okay, everything hits. And then uh, still only strength four, so winning on sixes, rerolling ones. Uh, nothing. No rerolls, no wounds. All right, we're going to do the Sagittarium. They're going to fire their combi profile because i got to try to put some kind of damage on you here. Uh, so there's two in range for the combi and uh, one that's not. So the one that's not firing the combi profile, uh, hitting on twos, rolling ones. So he's going to hit with all of them. <sighs> so the other the other thing I could have done for Rendax is sixes to hit would have auto wounded you. And instead? Instead I'm doing the bonus strength to charge. Hopefully that works out better for the bikes, but we'll see. And these are the two that are firing the combi profile, so threes, re-rolling ones. Not bad, fellas, not bad. Now here's the tough part, I'm only wounding you on fives. Rerolling ones. Uh, so no ones to reroll, I'm great at rolling twos. So there's three saves to make, minus one, two damage. Three of armor? Okay, good start. So that's four damage that you got catalyst to ignore on fives. Ooh. Better of them. So four damage on you, Don't chip it away. Him. Then the two combi profile. Again, hitting on threes, but I get to reroll ones. Come on, dice do better. Okay, so it turns it into one hit. This is wounding on five. No, no help. A Trajan's gonna go ahead and throw his single shot, because why not? Two. And then, uh, I think I'm still looking for five. Maybe six. Well, now I gotta check, don't I? That is a wound. Minus one, two damage. Three up. Beautiful. And five up. Okay, so you ignore one. Chip, chip, chip. Little bits of damage. Tell them on, shoot. Plasma projector is 2d6. Sorry, 2d3. Uh, so it's going to be a grand total of three hits, wounding you on five. So I'm only strength six on this. Uh, no help, and he's not core for Trajan. Then we got five shots with the bolt launcher. Okay, you still managed to miss twice. Uh, no wounds. And then the Accelerator Culverin last. Bomp. Okay, we got three hits. These are winning on five still, I believe. Ah, uh, there's only one I gotta worry about. It's AP enough to put you under your Invuln save and two damage. So four up Invuln. Four up. There it is. Not too shabby, sir. Not too shabby at all. Uh... Yeah, when in doubt, attack. Let's go over to charges. We're going to start with the shield captain. Ooh, what's the strength of your auto-hitting flamer thing again? Six. And how many shots is it? D6 plus six? Ah, uh, I don't want to charge him first. Why? So we are going to charge with the Telemon. I'll have to make a six-inch charge in a second, but first of all, you're going to call the Overwatch? Of course. Of course you are. And so D6 plus six auto-hits with the big flame weapon? Okay, so another eight. Uh, strength six, so you're gonna wound me on fives. Let's see how you like it. Not three bad. wounding hits, very average. And what's the AP on this again? It's uh, minus three. Minus three. Okay, so four up involved. He fails one, reduces it down to one damage, ignores on a six, and he does. Hmm. He don't care. Six inch charge to make it into combat. Uh, I know you get another attack. Sorry. Go ahead and roll that. I'm keeping my ten though. Stinger salvors. On sixes. Okay, so single one. hit. No. It doesn't wound. Okay. All right, so far so good. Shield Captain now is just going to declare a charge against the Tyranifex. And he goes that many inches. Mm -hmm. Ending up there, not quite touching, but pretty close to it. Last but not least, I've got a squad of bikes to send in. It's going to be a six inch charge with pre measure. Dice say I make a six inch charge. Okay, I'm starting to feel not as bad about losing that Dreadnought, but we'll see. You still get a 4-up Invuln in close combat, because it's in close combat as well, right? And then a 5-up uh, to ignore damage. And making the charge. Cool! Um, end of the charge phase, I don't think I have anything to declare. Start of the combat phase, I'm going to say that you are swinging last with this big gribbly monster of doom. 
Uh, you're not close enough for any heroic interventions. I forgot to check that, but it looks like you're good. So I believe we're just going to get right over to swinging. Okay, so we're going to start with the Telamon. Uh, four attacks base, uh, five with the close combat weapon. I'm going to hit you on twos. Okay. Uh, I will spend a CP reroll on the hit roll. So it turns into a hit. Does Trajan give me the command point back? He does. So cool. I didn't actually have to spend it. Uh, I'm going to wound you on twos now. I'm strength 16 in combat with him. Impressive. Thank you. Uh, still one fail. So we got four wounding hits that are definitely on an invuln save. Let's see what you get. Okay, two pass, two fail. There were four damage apiece. Good. Good. So we got eight damage that you're going to ignore on fives. Ooh, nice conversion. So you're only going to take four out of that. Mm -hmm. Down to eight. Then we got the bike captain swinging into... Actually, you know what? We'll just do the regular bikes. I don't really need to cheat their movement anywhere. So let's get their attacks going. All right, we got the bikes swinging in now. Looking for twos to hit. Come on, boys. Uh, we got one miss out of the bunch. Pretty good. Now they are... Oh, did I not have to... Oh no, yeah, that gets them to the proper strength. So their strength five base, the lance is plus two, and then I'm plus one strength on a uh, turn that I charge a monster with the Rendax. These are strength uh, eight with um, plus one a wound as well on the turn that I charge with the lances. So I'm looking for threes to wound you. Get them! No, bad roll, bad roll. No! Uh, that is only a grand total of five winning hits. I failed more than half of those. Oof. Nothing you can do about it, though, because uh, Trajan was not close enough. I would have got four rerolls if he was, but I couldn't get him into position. Uh, so, let's see what we got. We got five four-up saves. Okay, you're failing two. That's uh, four damage total that goes in. Okay, so you take three more. Then we've got the knives going, the Misericordias. Hitting on twos. Okay, that works. These are gonna wound you on fives. That works. Three wounding hits. These are AP, it's either AP one or two. Roll it, I think it's only AP one. Well, we'll check depending on, yeah, you're fine anyways. Just the captain left to go now and he's going to pile in in such a way to take the horror specs. Exocrine. Exocrine. And the six attacks here, hitting on twos. Okay, he hits with all of them. Same thing, he's gonna wound you on threes. And no help there, he only rerolls one. So that's five more wounding hits that you ignore on uh, fours. Okay, so another four damage goes through. And five to ignore. Ooh, nice conversion. Uh, you're down to four wounds left. And then he, of course, has his own knife. It hits, it does not wound. Yes. Oh, you made good saves, but at least I made some progress. I got a little bit of board position. It's not the end of the world yet, but not looking fantastic. Uh, you get to swing back. So you've got two monsters engaging. Uh, who do you want to go first? Um, let's do the Exocrine. Okay, Exocrine into the Captain. So you're minus one attacks because I am Shadow Keepers. And then what do you hit on? Please. What's your strength here? And what's the damage profile? All right, so you're hitting me on, what, threes? Yes. Okay, so one hit. You're gonna wound me on threes. It wounds. Minus one, so I go to a three up armor save. He's fine. And then the terrain effects. And often just swing at the captain as well. Don't know what the captain ever did to you, but. Okay, so two misses and one wounding hit. Armor save. Oh, he fails it. Five up to ignore damage. Oh, he doesn't ignore either, so he's down to seven wounds remaining. And that should take us to the end of the turn. Uh, I got some okay damage on the board. I got some stuff tied up. I'm, I'm accomplishing my goals, underachieving a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and score my three victory points for my three home objectives. Bop, bop, and bop. Show you folks a quick a little sweep of the board state as we get ready for Tyranid's turn two. Okay, in the command phase for the Tyranids, turn two, uh, beginning with? 
Um, the spawning of 2d6 Tamarans. Yep. Bring in the back. Survey says you get eight back. It's slightly above average. Not bad. Good. All right. So we've got more Termians back, and then the rest of the command phase, you have rerolls to hand out, correct? Right. So um, the uh, Hive Tyrant hands out rerolls one to hit to the uh, Warriors. Okay. And the uh, Turnit Prime, also to the Warriors, uh, rerolls one to hit. Uh, so reroll hit rolls of one and wound rolls of one, right? Yeah, dead one. Nice. All right, so again, some very tight measurements coming up. I'm going to show you where all the Tyranids currently are and then where they all ended up. Movement is complete. So the... Um, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. The, the Not the horror specs, because that's the one with the giant mouth. It's the... Bleh, bleh, nope, I don't get it. Exocrine. The Exocrine, dang it. Uh, falls back. And then they hang out. The Turfgon shifted maybe a little bit. And we're starting to see the um, Zoanthropes, the Tyrant Guard, and the Tyrant shift this way as the Carnifex moves up and the Warriors come over to kind of secure this. It's really kind of a cat and mouse here to try to take objectives. Because, um, I mean, like, with this one, the weird combination, the play that we're both trying to go for, if it's not immediately obvious, is we need to protect our home objectives and steal the opponent's one for one turn. That puts you ahead, and that kind of like that won't win you the game, but it forces your opponent to play a lot more risky to try to catch up. So I'm starting to see things develop. Uh, we are going to go over to the shooting phase, and by that I mean the psychic phase. Where would you like to begin? We start with the Turbogon. Turbogon. I'm going to put Catalyst. Catalyst. Yeah. Let's first see if that succeeds. It yeah. does. Where's it going? I'm putting it on onto the Termagants. Excellent. No. Oh, okay. It was worth trying. On himself. Oh, you put it on himself? Yeah. Okay, I dig it. And then, uh, what's the next one? Next one is uh, a Smite from the Hive Tyrant. Smite from the Hive Tyrant. That'll go into the Telemon, so I'll pop the... Uh, let me get the name of the strat. One CP for Indomitable Engine. So I'm going to ignore Mortals on Fives with him. You get it. D3. Okay. See if the strat was worth it. But bam it was! Ha ha! And then uh, the zone drops. Yeah. Yep. Also smite into. The you get plus three on this. Tell them. Yep. Ooh, that just yeah. barely works, eh? Uh, I spend a command point. Gonna spend a CP, yeah. and you're down to what three then? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm okay with this. Ah, oh, that's a better one. Uh, so that's uh, D6 plus three. Right, because okay. it goes up to twelve, which yep. is a super smite. D6. Plus three. Okay, for six. See if this uh, strat works. Uh, uh, it helps, another one. So I'm only gonna take four damage on that. I'm down to six remaining. All right, so that's the end of the psychic phase. What you got next there, college boy? Shooting <laughs> into combat. Yep, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. uh, who is he shooting at? At the captain. <laughs> stop. How about you just stop? <laughs> um, so what's the strength of this attack? So let's start with the... Um, Before you roll it, I need to know the strength because I might pop the, some strength. The spines are uh, strength 5 and the asset space strength 6. Okay, and they're all targeting the captain? Yes. So I'm going to spend 1 CP for room responsibility. Uh, they are minus 1 strength. Okay. Oh. So uh, the spines first? Yes. Because the spines aren't a blast, right? No. Okay, what are you hitting on now that you're wounded? Oh yeah, let me check. Uh, you're hitting me on fives. <laughs> I'm sending you straight back to Germany. Sorry. Um, no, don't be sorry. Uh, so these are now strength what, four? four. So you're winning on fives. Again. Oh. Bless your heart for not doing it again. Uh, these are minus one? Yeah. Okay, five up to ignore. Stop. That shouldn't have done a damage. What? And then you've got the, how many auto hits do you get with the cannon now? Does it go down at all with being damaged or no? No. Okay, good, great. D6, D6 plus, plus six. six. Uh, it's only 11, it's still good, it's still good. good. Three, six, You're gonna eight. wound me on uh, fives so, now though. Strength five now? Strength five now, yeah. And your toughness six. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, see it saved a bunch there. Yeah. And by a bunch, I mean like three, but okay, cool. Uh, these are minus three. Minus three. And there was two, so four ups. 
Okay, this captain wants to die. And then uh, five to ignore, because it's two damage, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that hasn't come up once, so he's got four wounds remaining. Okay. Oh! What's next? Um, I think that? that's it, because I cannot shoot into that combat. Excellent fell back. back. And then you get range on... Out of range there. The 18-inch restriction. It's too dark out then, eh? Beautiful. Let's go over to charges. Where would you like to begin your charges, sir? Um, let's charge with the Tyrant Guard only. Okay. The boss doesn't want to get his hand. Doesn't want to get his claws dirty? I can appreciate that. So Tyrant Guard going to declare the charge against uh, the Telamon, I assume? Yes. All right, let's see what you get. Rolling, uh, yep, more than uh, like two. So you make it in with an eight inch charge. You are effectively beginning to bog me down. Anything you got to take care of at the end of the charge phase or I guess any other charges you were wanting to make? I want, but I cannot. That's fair. And then uh, start of the combat phase. Uh, I'm going to have my shield captain say that the one and only thing he's engaging has to swing last. And yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, we go over to your chargers. Swinging in, we got Scything Talons, we're gonna get them out of the way first. Yes. So these are hitting me on? Hitting on uh, three. Oh wait, sorry, uh, I reduced your attacks by one. That shouldn't affect these, because these are just additional, so these are good. Yeah, I reduced. Because these are additional, we'll reduce the other ones when yeah. we get there. Uh, so these are hitting me on, sorry, threes? Yes. Okay, and then strength? Uh, five. So winning on fives? So you got two, good start. Uh, what's the AP? It's minus one. Just. Minus one, so I get a three up. Uh, fail them both. Ooh. Oh no. Six to ignore. Uh, that doesn't help at all. I'm down two wounds. I can't see what I'm at, but I believe I'm at four. Four, yes. And then these are going to hit on threes. These are the rending claws, right? Yes. Okay, and then these are also going to wound on fives? Yes. It'd be real cool if you didn't roll super high. Thank you. Hey, it is what it is. Yeah. We'll roll with the punches. I get to swing with all my stuff now. We're going to start with the captain swinging on you. So the captain swinging into the uh, terrain effects. Mm. Uh, hitting on twos. Okay, not bad. Uh, I believe I'm only winning you on fives now, though, and I get no help on this. So one wounding hit. You still get your fourth involved save, I believe? No. You don't get your involuntary? Oh, anymore? yeah, it's still the second round, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Don't give me false hope. Oh, you oh, made it. Sorry. Makes <laughs> so sense. Maybe I should have given him Catalyst. Maybe you should have given him Catalyst. We're going to do the bikes now. The bikes are going to go, uh, I believe it's Slayer and Shadows. You have a tire, higher toughness than me, so I'm going to get uh, plus one to wound you here. So I'm going to be wounding on fours with the, those guys at least. Oh, and the captain gets the knife I forgot about. Uh, he missed. Good. Good. Great. All right, bikes, swinging, not bad. And now I'm gonna wound you on fours. Not a terrible roll. Actually, that's better than when they charge and we're wounding on threes. Seven saves to make. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that's yes. not terrible. So pick these all up. You gotta roll them twice to ignore on, uh, oh no. Because uh, you failed, what, five of them? Yeah, I so they're ten two. damage total. So I'm just saying, roll these ones twice. Fives. Okay, disgusting. Uh, you got two wounds left. Okay, and that's enough to take him down. But just barely. barely. Uh, does he do the death throws or anything like that? No, no. Okay, cool. He dies with a whimper. Never mind. You even have catalyst on you. Well, I feel better about myself. Because, yeah, Catalyst is on who? Catalyst is on the tower. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be a problem later on. Okay, cool. So the Tyrant Effects is dead anyways. We didn't need to roll the Catalyst, but huzzah. Mr. Telemon swinging into the Tyrant Guard. Do you get any penalties to hit or anything like that? Cool. How many wounds are they? Did we check that? Are they four or five? Four. Four? Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to hit you on threes now. Okay, I'm a little wounded, so you avoided a hit. I'm going to wound you on twos. So we got a grand total of four wounding hits. These are AP good. You're looking for five ups. You, okay, you still roll very high. Uh, these are four damage apiece though. Then two are dead. Okay. Now we talked earlier 
and you said you didn't like rolling the single you can keep pulling them you don't like rolling the single die trying to make a save so when i start to ask if you want to re-roll viewers know it's only because i'm tormenting him really big deal that one of those did manage to survive though that helps you out quite a lot for what i'm trying to do on my turn him being down to four wounds is also terrifying. He's not made a single five up. But I believe that's end of the turn. Yep. So we get to take a look, and you obviously still hold your three objectives, and you don't hold any of mine. So uh, the score is six to six as we get ready for Custodius turn three. Start of the turn for Custodes. I'm going to move over to Captaris, and I get both profiles on this one technically, I think is how it works. Um, which should be kind of handy dandy. Uh, did you figure out your imperative yet? Yeah, I'm gonna make this Captaris stance two, um, which is the no fallback. But I'm also gonna have it count as the you can't um, reroll hit rolls against me in close combat. Oh. The imperative shall be relentless ferocity. And what's that do? I can fall back and charge. You fall back and charge. Okay, that's not bad. So now, the way that the stance works is that um, unless you're a monster, if you're engaged with me, you're prevented from falling back. If you're a monster, you can still do it, though, which is going to be most of the problems around here. It's mainly for the hive tower. 100% get it. Yep, that makes sense to me. Uh, and let's just continue with the turn. Uh, most of the movement you're going to see is all happening over here. So I'll show you where all of this stuff currently is. Movement is done and I am completely stressed. I've moved back just to make sure I'm still holding that objective, um, but to make it more difficult for the Screamer Killer. Moved back onto here. They're not doing anything this turn. Just shuffled over a little bit. Uh, Trajan and friends have moved up. The Telamon has stayed still. Way over on this side, these bikes have moved up. It is time to be aggressive. B-E aggressive. And then over here, these bikes and the captain have all moved over here. Uh, I'm stressed beyond belief, but it's okay. Uh, let's go right over to... Actually, uh, oh, I'm gonna pop strat on that. I could make him fight uh, Top Racket. Um, which is not like the worst thing in the world if you were to do that. Yeah, I'll pop the one CP uh, to hit, uh, to be basically acting at my Top Racket. Uh, I don't get it back from Trajan, so I'm down to three CPs. <sighs> and sorry, this that should have been in the command phase. I apologize, but hey, it doesn't really change much of anything right now. Um, so yeah, let's go right over to shooting. He is going to shoot everything into the uh, hive guard. Time it guard, dang it! Okay, so we're gonna start with the culvern, hitting on threes because it's heavy. Okay. Helped once, and then your toughness won on them. On the uh, six time, toughness six, it's not bad. Threes to wound you. It's three wounding hits. These are minus three. Five up. Two damage a piece. That got him. The goose is loose. <sighs> okay, not bad. We're gonna go next and have these bikes light up the Tyranid Warriors right here. All right, shooting at those Warriors. I'm gonna be hitting you on twos. Captain nearby says do better. I may have actually spent a command point on a reroll earlier. I didn't need to because I forgot about the captain being a captain. I'm saying it out loud now just you know, so the universe forgives me. Uh, your toughness four or five on Warriors. Four. Toughness four, okay, so I'm gonna wound you on fours. No reroll help here. So in the first volley, that's six, seven, eight, nine. We got 10 so far. Never mind, they're toughness five. We're gonna go back and check that clip. Let's see if I'm right. A volley number two. And yeah, sorry, there were seven wounding hits previously. I'm gonna pull you guys and just say do better. Thank you. And now I'm looking for fives. I can pick these dice up. Don't, don't. Don't doubt my abilities, people that can't see me on the camera right now. Ha! Ah. Fives. So you're gonna make a grand total of uh, 10, 11 saves, which is nice, because I don't want to kill them all off. I need something to charge. 
Seven. Eleven saves. Four up, you said? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, one dies and one is on one wound. Beautiful. Captain's not going to bother shooting because I can definitely clean up a couple Tyranid Warriors in combat. Um, over here, the goal is to get your um, Turvigon dead this turn, so even though it's not the most efficient shooting, I'm probably going to put shots that way. So there's only the one in uh, rapid fire range, so four shots going over, twos, and then sixes. Uh, I get to reroll ones because Trajan's looking at me. It doesn't help. Trajan himself is going to put a single shot over there. He hits. Does not reroll his own wound rolls of one. Um, I, uh, their fire support could have been nice, but I can't leave that objective, so I wouldn't have had the range necessary because of the mission. Now that they're done, I'm going to sweep way on the other side of the battlefield, and we're going to unleash shots into the warriors straight ahead of me. Twos, no reroll help. Okay. You each missed once, you're not getting sent back to custody school yet. And then uh, wounding you on fives. Nice. That's a conversion of eight wounds so far. Second volley. Excellent marksmanship today, gentlemen. Excellent. Fives. So we get eight. Oh, there we go. That balances out. Only four here, so there's 12 wounding hits. Looking for four ups. Ooh. Mm, One nice. dead, two dead. Oh, no, almost dead. Mm. Not too shabby there. Technically, you could have put some on to the ones in cover. We noticed that after the fact, but you didn't roll any threes, so I guess that balances it out. Captain's going to put his shots back here. Hey, he hits. Uh, your T8, so sixes. One wounding hit. Fail it, fail it, do it, do it. No. I got five wounds now. Brings me over to the church phase. Dang, I'm stressed. Uh, Telamon, gonna declare. Nope. Uh, bikes, declaring a charge into the Turvagon. Would you like to overwatch, sir? No, thank you. An eight is enough. Charging like so. Captain's gonna charge the warriors. He's in! Huzzah, I'm just gonna move your wound. Because uh, I'm just gonna charge right up cozy into there. Uh, we're going to have the Telamon charge the Turvagon. That's not enough. I'm going to command point reroll that. Does Trajan give me it back? He does not. Uh, I'm not superstitious, just a little stitious, so I'm going to roll two new dice. No! He failed his charge! I needed his damage in there! That changes a lot! No! Uh-oh. You're a big disappointment. <laughs> uh, gonna move over to here now and have these bikes charge the warriors. Are you overwatching off this? Why let, not? Let I have me, the points. Okay, good. Let me attack your command points. Go for it. <laughs> so you spend one command point, you're down to what, three? Yeah. Okay. And? So the... Um... All right, Venom Cannons first. D3 see? shots, right? Mm -hmm. Each. Five shots. That's a strong start. Strong, strong start. Six and... Oh, you get a hit. One. Strength. Eight. Wounding on three. It wounds. AP. Minus three. Uh, four up in Bolton. He cares not for your uh, venomous cannon. <laughs> Bar... Is he Barb Stranglers or something? Death Spitters. Death Spitters. No. Okay, cool. Charge distance. It's three. Uh, I'm going to measure and see. Charging in just like so. Uh, end of the charge phase, I have nothing. Start of the fight phase, I'm going to go over here. He's going to say that these warriors are swinging last. And then I'm probably going to... Uh, another Turvagon. How many attacks does the Turvagon make in combat? It's not a ton, right? No, three or something. Three or something? Um, so yeah, we'll go into the warriors over oh, here first. four, actually. Ah, okay, so it's going to go down to three anyway, yeah. so... Yep, let's go into these warriors first, because I don't want any damage on anybody over here. I'm going to start off by swinging the three Misericordias. These are going to hit you on twos. Uh, that's a fantastic start, gentlemen. You are so good at this. Uh, this is going to wound you on a four. Okay, cool. That's uh, minus one AP. Five up. 
Okay, cool. So that kills off the one wound guy. Yep. And now let's get the lances going. Not the most efficient way to kill these warriors. The knife? Should we choose to hit? Ah, my lances are not rubber today. Okay, so these are strength seven, plus one to wound. So I should be wounding on twos. Ooh, I'm throwing dice all over the place. That many. Uh, the P three, two damage apiece. I think I, think I got them. They got them. Yeah. Now that we finished this, we double checked over here because I, I forgot to ask if you wanted to heroically intervene. Uh, you didn't think you were in range, but we checked, and you definitely are. Did you want to intervene to the Dreadnought? Yeah, definitely. If it goes poorly, he might murder you. Okay, that's fair. I will. Bomb. Okay. Cool. Uh, where are you interrupting? Yeah, I guess I have to. You don't have to there, technically. I could swing with uh, this stuff first, and then you get to swing first over there. Oh, then, then I don't need to. Yeah, you don't need to on that one, so don't worry about that. There's no way for me to make him go first. Because once we're done all my chargers, then we go on to uh, your pick first. So here, swinging into the Turbogun. All right, swinging into the Turbogun with the bikes over here then. Uh, I'm going to be hitting you on twos. We're rolling because of my captain. Captain, oh captain, Ooh. tell them to do better. Thank you. Uh, I am strength seven versus your toughness eight, but plus one to wound from the lances. And your character, so I get to re-roll with shadow keepers. Fours. Okay, not a, not the, oh, okay, average start, average start. Reroll. Much better. Whew. You are gonna owe me a grand total of five. 10, 11 five up saves. 11 saves of five up. Uh, converting a solid, solid amount there. Seven. And then you got one more there. Seven. Seven, so that's 14 damage, but you get to ignore on fives. Because of catalyst. Yep. Ooh, good roll. Five, six, seven ignored. So seven damage taken? Average. <laughs> not bad, not bad, but still a solid hit. I got the three knives now. Captain. Cool. And then these are going to wound you on fives. But your character. So one more at minus one. Yep. Okay, you're good. Good. Now that that's done, we're going to go over to my captain here, swinging into your warriors, starting off with his misericordia. His Misery Accordion, hitting, wounding, minus one. Five plus. Why are you like this? <laughs> uh, he gets uh, six wings now. Hitting on twos. Rerolling because he charged. Thank you. And then uh, I'm strength seven, so winning on threes, and then winning on twos because plus one with the lance. Uh, they all wound. They're all AP minus three. Two damage. They are so dead. Yeah, they're pretty dead. Now that that is done, you get to swing with your Hive Tyrant first. No, don't do it. You get minus one to attack to all your profiles at least, though. Oh. All right, swinging in, you get four attacks. Hitting on twos. Not a great start for me. You're wounding on threes. Two wounding hits. So that's two mortal wounds that I'm not allowed to ignore, right? Mm -hmm. because, because of your relic. Yeah, the Reaper of Obliterate. I basically just have to pass two four of Invuln saves. I could spend a CP. <gasps> Are you going to break your rule and do it? No, you can't. Uh, you can't. Re Let me double check, actually, to see what you can't reroll. Yeah, you can't reroll hit rolls, but you could reroll wound rolls. Yeah, let's do it. Going to do it? Don't two. No, it doesn't work. No. So I get two works. four ups. I know. <laughs> you broke your rule once. Uh, four ups. You ready for to see both? Hmm. Pass one, fail one. <sighs> I will command point. <laughs> it never works. Mwah. No, it doesn't work. Dreadnought does go down. Uh, do I explode? No, I do not. And with that, the Telamon is dead. Because you have the uh, the sword uh, 
doesn't allow me to ignore damage in any way, so that's how you're getting through. Some of the defenses. Good kill, sir. Good kill. And opting not to consolidate, you're going to stay where you're at. Okay. Um, yo, sorry, Turvigon gets a swing now, too. Oh, yeah. So Turvigon makes one less attack than it normally does. Yeah. Uh, four down to three. Okay. Um, Hitting on threes into the bikes? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Just one. No. Okay. No one. So far, so good. So let's look at the end of the turn here. Um, hmm. And yeah, so double checking. I hold my three home objectives, of course, still. I do manage to take this one as well, though, because I can't as two mods. You can as five, but, uh, you know, I got three on the objective. And unfortunately, that means I'm going to get four points this turn. It's only one point, but that's huge in this format. It is. Command phase. We're each going to go up a command point, and then the Turvigon is going to hand out. Plus one to hit on his Turvigans. Yep. And also the um, Hive Tyrant gives them reroll once to hit. Okay, cool. And then the... Uh, the Turret Prime cool. gives the Hormogans reroll once to wound. Very good. Cool. Ah, oh, jeez, there's spawn termagants everywhere. So there's the once per game spawn. Um, anything else in your command phase? No, I think that's it. Cool. Let's go over to your movement. Again, I'm going to show everybody approximately where everything is right now. I'm starting to split the Tyranid Force. And then let's see where it all ends up. Movement is complete. Moving up to get some shots onto this unit here. And then uh, the spawned termagants have come up to kind of screen a little bit to allow the uh, hive tyrant to move over to help deal with the bikes. Uh, there's some general shuffling of termagants there, just trying to put some towards the objective. And then uh, the carnifex has moved up. Death Leaper popped up finally. Uh, and then we also have Hormagons have moved up close to the bikes. The Tyranid Prime has moved over, and the Zoanthropes have moved over. Movement is complete. We're going to go over to your Psychic Phase now. Where's the Psychic Phase starting? Yeah, let's start with the Zoanthropes. Start with the Zoanthropes, Kip. Into the bikes. Smite. Smoke. It's only a 10. So that's not the super smite. No, it isn't. But Are you going to command point reroll no, that? No, no, no. Let's keep it. Okay. D3 plus 3. That's yeah, five. 5. And now, 6 is to ignore. Okay, so one bike has one wound left. Catalyst now. Uh, going where to where? On himself. Okay. So, now we're good. On a 6, okay. So yeah. catalyst. So next up, the Hive Tyrant. Trying a smite into the bikes. Okay. Yeah. Get it. D3 for two. Two. Okay. I ignore one. And you get a second power as well, right? Yeah, the Neuroparasite. Okay. It's cast on a seven. It is. Get it. And that was going to the Custodian Guard Squad? On the Guard, yeah. I throw dice for each model. Okay. And if I exceed the toughness, you get a model wound. Sixes then. One. One. One more loom. Ah, you get to ignore on a six. No. Okay. One of them is down to two wounds. And brings us to the shooting phase. The termagants are going to shoot into the squad of custodian guard. I say bring it on, good sir. What are the stats on this gun now? Because I know it got wild. They're a bit wild. Yeah, better than Bolta, of course. Strength five, minus one. Strength five, minus one. In what world? Okay, just roll it. I don't know. Do you get rerolls on it or anything? No, not, not on them. I okay. haven't... Uh, Put it on them. So hitting on fours, not bad. Mm, pretty solid start. We got half hits, and then fours to wound. Mm. Three wounding hits. Good. I gotta get a three up armor save on them. Uh, one of them takes the damage. And it goes down to one wound left. Ow. Alrighty. Next up, hive tyrant. Yeah. Into squad of custodian guard. Yeah. Cool. Hitting on uh, twos. That's pretty good. One miss. Yeah, unfortunately. What's the strength? It's, uh, what is it, nine? Okay, so then that's going to be threes to wound me. 
Uh, just one wound. One wound. AP, I assume, is amazing? Oh, yeah, four. Okay, so four pinfall. He's fine. Okay. The Emperor protects. Now, D3 plus eight. This is... Okay, so strength what? Eight. AP? Minus four. What's the damage profile? Three. Okay. Yep, go for it. Eight shots. Okay. And you're going to be hitting me on threes, threes I believe. Yep. Not wounded? No. No. You're fresh. So, eight shots. Oh. Help a little bit. Now you're going to wound me on threes. Right. Cool. I had considered doing the transhuman, the alchemic uh, alchemy. That would have mean you could only wound me on fours at best. Wouldn't have made a difference. So I saved a command point. So I got three saves to make here, and for every one I fail, I uh, lose a warrior. <sighs> Four up in Vaughn's. Come on, little buddies. I lose two. Bloop, bloop. Which is still enough to keep one alive, though, when on the objective. Next up, Turbogon's going to opt to shoot into combat. Sting. Are these heavy or assault? Assault. Okay, so hitting on? Three. Oh, is she... she takes Ten, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Get shots. Ooh. That's pretty good. Ooh. What's the strength of these? Five. Okay. So five? Yes. Stop. Rolling. Pretty good. Uh, so we got four saves to make. These are AP minus. One. Minus one. Okay. So three ups. I lose a wound. I'm down to three. Last little bit of shooting. Get some flesh borers coming from downtown. Shooting into my custodian guard squad. That's, so that's five shots. You get plus one to hit on this. So, threes? No. Oh. Uh, uh, wah wah. <laughs> Fours? Okay, you got one. Ah, it's dead. That kills a custodian. That's not worth, it's sad, but it's not worth me spending a reroll on that, I don't think. Um, oh, that is like four less attacks to clear three, though. Ooh, this is tough. Um... To keep him, you know what? I'm going to spend the command point and re-roll it. Okay, so I get it. Does Trajan give me it back? He does not. So I'm down to two command points. Never mind. I rolled a two anyways on it. I yeah. forgot to take minus one. Minus I'm one. Dead. Yeah. Oh, that was rough. Um, all right, that happens. Uh, any other shooting, or is that done? That's it. That's it, eh? Hey? Ooh, we are over to the charge phase. And now I'm going to take a look and see if I waste another command point. Yeah, I'm not going to tangle foot. Um, I'd have to roll a six. You'd have to roll super low. And then command point reroll would probably get it. I I'm not risking that. So continue with your charges, good sir. <laughs> uh, the hive tyrant? Yeah, into the bikes. Yep. Yeah, that would have worked anyways. <laughs> Where do you want to charge to? Mm, let's go around. Now, if you want, you can charge all the way back over here to allow him to pile in and make you swing last. Mm, no, thank I'll you. let you uh, no. think about it. No. Consider it. No. We move over from that charge. Two charges over here. Who would like to begin? Homogons. Come on in. Cool. Yeah, Five inch charge. Uh, oh, that's a lot of little griblies. Uh, the prime going in as well? Yeah. Oh, easily. Uh, yeah, easily makes it. And I believe that's all your eligible charges. Yeah. Opting to swing with the Hormigons over here first. Yeah. Which we were kind of back and forth. He knows I have a one command point interrupt over there, but banking on the fact that you have big, tough monsters. So, over to here. Yeah. Hormigons first. Uh, do they need to pile in, or are you swinging good swing where you're from? I'm good because of the swarming Holding monsters. The yes, I can wanting to hold the objective. All, of them. all right. Normally you'd be getting thirty attacks, but you only get twenty. Yeah. So I'm the shadow keeper. That's the thing. Alrighty, what are you hitting me on? Fours, but with toxin sex, um, six is auto wound. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm, nice, nice. You got four auto wounds. Yeah. Let's, uh, this out. And yep, strength three. Wait for sixes, then, friend. We got four saves to make total. Three up saves because they still got AP on them. Oh, dang! I really need many attacks over here. I'm gonna command point reroll that. Does Trajan give it back first on a five up? 
He does. Now can I make my three up armor save? <sighs> oh, he does! He lives! That's pretty good. My heart hurts. <laughs> Two command points to interrupt over here. I don't want to do it. I wanted to do the one over there. Uh, this is probably still the right choice, even though I hate that it's the right choice. Um, so what we're going to do... How many wounds does he have? Um, he has six. Six? And does he have an invuln save? No. But and just a three up. A three up armor save. Okay. Eight lance attacks into the prime. The rest into the Hormigons, and then they're also catching the um, uh, nice. knives, the Misericordias. So twos to hit Mr. Tyranid Prime. It's a good start. These are going to be threes to wound your character, so I get to reroll. It's a good start. And a strong enough follow up. Six saves, a minus three, sir. Sixes. He did. He just takes exactly six damage. Yeah. Uh, I could spend. You could spend. You could break your cardinal rule. Let's do it for fun. <laughs> you got okay. I need a six. Yep. Yep. How, Let's see. This is gonna be huge. Do, can if you do, do it. No. no. <laughs> okay. Cool. I don't feel bad about having no command points left then. So he goes down. Happy about that. Then the four uh, spears here. Okay, and then twos. So AP three, I should just kill two off, I believe. Yeah. And then I got the three knives going there. Twos, and then threes. Uh, there's only one. It's at minus one. Six up. No. Okay, so cool. three are dead. Three are dead, and the prime is gone. All right. So that's done there. Now back to you, the regularly scheduled charging. Other side of the board. This is going to be the Hive Tyrant swinging in. One less attack, I guess. You bet. Hmm. Hitting on? Twos. On twos. And sorry, what's the strength of him? Ten. I should have checked before. Your strength 10? Okay, give me... Oh, no, I'm out of command points. It doesn't matter. Good. Continue. Okay. Uh, so you're still wounding me on threes. Yes. Oh, that worked. That's four mortal wounds, right? Yeah, in addition. In addition, so we got four mortal wounds in this, and I gotta do. Oh, actually, this is gonna be weird the order of this properly. Mortal wounds is in the at the end. Okay, so we gotta resolve these one at a time because the way the mortal wounds are applied is every time you go to do damage. So I begin by rolling a save. Now, here's the benefit if for my opponent, if I fail the save, four damage is applied, he dies, then a mortal wound gets done to the unit. So. But otherwise, he just takes a single mortal wound, and then we do it again. It depends on my rolls. So, four up. So, <laughs> as I said, he dies, and then a mortal wound gets applied to the next bike. So the bike is down to four, and you're four damage to swing on in this, right? Yes. And you uh, don't allow me to mitigate damage. So now i got to roll a save on this bike. So he makes it, but then a mortal wound still gets applied. So now he's down to three. And then I roll a save, and I fail it, so he dies. And now he's down to four wounds remaining. And I've got one save left to make, and he fails. So you killed the unit. Wow. Aren't you glad you listened about how I think we should resolve that? <laughs> that worked out really well for you, didn't it? Well, that's why it's the obliterator of something, something, something. <laughs> that's pretty good, friend. That's pretty good. Uh, now, is that it? Yeah, because... Yeah, nothing to swing there, nothing to swing there. Uh, I think we got to roll our first combat attrition test of the game. Technically morale first. So what was their leadership? Five. They lost three. Okay. They go. <gasps> They're insanely brave. They don't care. They care not. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Um, that's it. So at the end of your turn, you've got your three home objectives secured again. Yeah. As I get stuck on the table. So you get three points. Yes. So I'm winning ten to nine right now. And I get this one because two monsters on that yes. with more than ten wounds. Yep. Counting as ten models. So, not bad. Not bad. 
Verification, I have 11 points. Uh, Michael was so kind to point out that, uh, his objective can is two for me. Start of the turn here, we each go ahead and get our command point. Uh, so I'm up to one, and then uh, I'm going to go for the other stance for Captaris, which is simply going to be the you can't reroll uh, wound rolls against me, or so you can't reroll hit rolls against me in close combat. All right, you are reducing my numbers, and you're starting to threaten my home objectives, which is the problem. So I need to I need to jump ahead right now and keep that lead. So I'm going to show you where everything currently is. Boop boop boop. And then I'm gonna take a minute to go cry in the corner and then uh, come back. This turn is awful. It stresses me out. Uh, so the blade champ's gonna move over here, try to keep him tied up. Blade champ's not gonna kill you though. What am I doing? Ah, eh, whatever I'm going for. I kill you in Overwatch. Let's see you try. You might though. <clears throat> you still gotta roll sixes to hit at least, right? He doesn't have an auto hit. No. Okay, well, well, you know what, uh... Oh, jeez, maybe I should have sent these guys this way. No, because then I gotta deal with these little jerks. Nope, whatever, stick with the plan. Moved up. Trajan's moving over because he needs to kind of threaten the middle a little bit. Sagittarium, I still need to move. These guys moved back. The bikes stayed where they are. And then way in the back, the captain's uh, moved over here to threaten this objective. There they are, hanging out. Okay, we're gonna start off with them shooting into Mr. Carnifex. I'm gonna use the combi profile. Okay, so these are the standard kind of bolt type profiles. Uh, they're gonna be hitting you on threes, re-rolling ones. Okay, now these are gonna wound you on fives. Trajan says re-roll ones, but I didn't get any. So there's only two wounding hits. These are AP minus one. So three up. Okay, you take one, it's uh, two damage gets reduced down to one. So he's got eight wounds left. And then the combi profile. Uh, Reroll ones. Okay, these are again gonna be fives to wound. Reroll ones, come on little buddy. Nope, fails to wound. Those would have been three damage a pop. Which could have been nice, but still wouldn't have killed you. Uh, Trajan will just fire a shot for you having the audacity to be here. He hits. He wounds. It's AP minus one. Why are you the one wounding? Mm. Cool. Uh, two damage gets uh, reduced down to one. Just a little bit of chip damage actually is kind of nice. Moving from over there to way over here. Actually, I'm going to have uh, these guys lob shots into the termagants there. So there's only going to be two shots coming in probably. Oh, never mind. I got rapid fire range into the termagants back here. Four shots on twos. And then these are UT3, right? Mm -hmm. So threes. Ah, one wounding hit. Uh, you, it's minus one. Oh. I killed one. Oh, so sad. Aha! And then shooting in with the hurricane. Hitting on twos. Okay. And then these are going to wound you on threes. And so... That is going to be a grand total of eight saves you're going to owe me on those termagants. Minus one? Uh, no minus. No minus. So, so you lose know, so five? Yeah, five. Okay, chipping away. A little bit disappointed on that, but that's okay. We're going to go right over to charges now. We're going to have the shield captain declare a charge into the hormigants. Sorry, termagants. That's still probably the right call. I'm not going to kill enough, but it means that you got to deal with me next turn at least. He makes it. Bloop. If I, if I had the uh, uh, preventing your piling up right now, that actually probably would win me the game, but I don't have it up. After that charge, we're going to do the custodian guard squad here, charging straight ahead. I'm in. I'm going to charge to right there. And then the uh, Blade Champ's going to charge in. You want to Overwatch here? Of course. Of course you're going to. Okay, so uh, spend your one CP. Yeah. You're down to two. And uh, D3 plus six shots with the big gun. Okay. Eight again, okay. consistent. Six is to hit. You monster. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, these are strength what? Eight. Okay, so winning man three. 
two wounds, and it's good AP. Minus four. So I'm on my four pinball. How much damage are these each? Three. Oh, God. Okay, I pass them both. <laughs> Does he get the thorn back thing, too? The spine shots? No. No, okay, cool. Uh, I gotta roll like a three or something on him. Okay, now we actually gotta make sure. Okay, order of activations. I'm not super worried about much of anything. So I'm just gonna do the captain because I want to mitigate any damage on him. I'm not afraid of termagants. I'm afraid of zone throat because I haven't been able to get at them. I haven't been able to trick you into putting them out in the open for me yet. You kept them in the middle of your uh, army. So swinging into the termagants, twos to hit. Reroll. Okay. And then twos to kill. And again, I charged, reroll. Cool. So that is five of them dead. And then I've got the knife. That hits. Uh, that wounds. That's only AP minus one. Six up. Okay, so I kill six of them total. All right, now that that's done, are you interrupting anywhere? No. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll just do these guys. Six attacks total with the spears. Twos. Ooh, okay. And then uh, strength like seven, so it should be twos. AP is good, so that's three dead. And then two swings with the knives. Two hits, threes, two more at minus two. Two dead. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, minus one, minus one. one minus one, yeah, that one. I lied. I had the number That's two stuck in my head. Okay, so one lives. Just one. Nice. So they killed some stuff. Blade Champion now is going to pile in and make his swings. I will try to go for Behemor, Behemor. It's one of the fighting styles. Uh, four is into your monster. Four is to hit auto wound you. Mm -hmm. So, okay, one fail. It's three auto wounds. And then these are fives to wound. So one more wound. These are AP two, so it's gonna put you on your in, actually. They're AP four, but it's gonna put you on your invuln either way. He has a two up uh, armor safe, so it's yeah. four up anyway. Okay, goes through. Uh, so it's four damage total. 11 wounds left. Nice. Over here, we got the Hormigons swinging in now. So How many you got left there? Seven? Seven left. So 14 attacks. Yeah. And these are going to hit me on, what was it, fours? Four, six. Six is on wound. Nice start. And then these are looking for sixes to wound. Okay, so we got three wounds total. And these are going to be three up armor saves. You get the one. Killed another bike. No reroll? No, I don't get the command point. Otherwise, I'd consider it. Oh, I do get a command point. Do I care to? Okay. I'm going to spend the command point. I'm going to spend my one and only command point, and hopefully this works. I'm going to roll the armor save first. Three up. No! Does Trajan give it back to me? He doesn't anyway, so... Okay. That was a waste, but that's okay. This is kind of a big deal. Boop. I kind of hope that you, <laughs> that you fudge it. I, I kind of hope that I don't fudge it. Yeah. Uh, Misericordius on twos. Okay, so it's only one hit so far. Uh, threes. No, oh no, it's happening. It's starting. It's happening. <clears throat> yep, these are looking for um, twos. Okay, that's a good start. And these are looking for twos just to kill. That, my friend, is seven. Lucky you. <laughs> and the consolidate to move ever so slightly closer to uh, the zone tropes, and then grab the of objective. <sighs> Over here, the little termagants that could get to pile in and make some swings. <laughs> and so that's a grand total of five swings into me. What are you hitting on? Fours? Fours, but I gave the one, plus one to hit. Plus one to hit. Nice. And then wounding on sixes? Sixes, yeah, unfortunately. Okay, cool. And then we've got these fine gentlemen here. Don't know what sort of terrible alien maneuver they're doing <laughs> when they pile in like that. Um, but yeah, getting your swings. Seven left. Hitting on fours. Okay. And then fives. Fives. Ooh. Why are they so angry? Uh, two ups. 
Yeah, they're fine. And then over here, the big fella. Swing here, you only get two attacks. Hit me on fours. Because I'm dodging so fast. And then uh, wounding on three. Okay, that works. Uh, minus one, so I'm to a three up save. Nah, he's fine. He cares not. That's the end of the turn. So I'm going to score one, two, three, four, five points. Command phase. This is getting absolutely crazy. So the score is 16 to 9 right now. Uh, so the Tyranids, we both get a command point. I go uh, to 1, Tyranids go to 3, and then uh, we need to hand out some abilities, right? Right, so um, direct guidance from the Turbogon to that Turbogon unit okay. means plus 1 to it. Yep. Then his inbuilt Prude Progenigator ability to that one. So was one of those a command point or...? No. Okay. The, that's th the one is the Warlord trait, the other one is uh, build an ability to gotcha. give it to um, Termogant unit. Okay. And the Hive Tyrant um, will give uh, also these we all want to hit. Awesome. And then next in the command phase? Spawning. Yes. So um, the inbuilt spawning ability on that one is 2d6. Okay. Yeah, that's seven. unfortunate. That was all the work that I did. <laughs> yeah, true. And then I spend one command point on Endless Swarm on this unit okay. to get one, to get uh, D3 plus three back. Okay. For six. Can you go over the maximum? No, okay, I, you can I go can't. over the starting. Gotcha. So it's full up to 10. Nice. Many Termigants back. <coughs> that was a bad song. Made me cough. So we're going to go to movement over here. So we're going to start with the Carnifex? Yes. Moves. Where is he going? That's preachable. So he moves. Um, no, he moves right to them. Sorry. Yeah. That was the plan. I was going to say, yeah, because I think it's a monster. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But the, the plan was anyway to um, get these, this yep. objective with him and the other one with the Death Leaper, hopefully. That makes sense. And then Death Leaper's moving up. I think he moves nine. Yeah, he moves quick enough to get up there anyways. So ah, nine. No! You count as five, don't you? Yep. That's sick. So you count as five, but I counter that oh, by counting as six. So you have to kill one if you want to take it. Yeah. But it's not like you have to kill like all of them to take it. So that's kind of cool. Moving over to this side, you're going to stay in combat because you don't want the blade champion to be free. I believe that is the correct call to make. Um, and then we've got all this mess over here. Who's moving first? These are falling back into direction of that objective. Yep. Yep. I was really hoping I'd trick you into falling back with him and then going after them. I assumed that was going to be the play. Interesting, interesting, interesting. They're falling back sideways. That's interesting. Dance so keep in mind, uh... If you can fix the move, try to fix the move because I can heroically intervene with them. If you're not planning on charging them with the he, he will yeah. hopefully kill them. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and then what about Mr. Turvigan? Uh, moving a bit closer to the objective behind the ruins to be in range. That makes sense. I'm loving the fact that it's four turns and I think it's moved a grand total of like three inches. That one? The Turvigan, it hasn't Ooh. moved very far. I mean, it's, it's heavy. Or? Yeah, it's doing exactly what it <laughs> wants to do. And then last but not least, you've got your uh, squad of Zoanthropes. Yeah, they are moving closer. You monster. <laughs> it's the right play and I don't like it. So die. Yeah, he's probably gonna die. Psychic phase? Give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> After doing some figuring out, we're gonna begin with Catalyst. Yeah. Catalyst will go on that unit of Termogans, if I make it. I do. You do. Okay. Brilliant. Then next up, the mean Thune Tropes. You got a smite? On the captain. Oh, uh, it's their funeral. Yeah, it's... D3 uh, plus 3? Yeah. Okay. I was hoping for more, but 6 Ugh. is enough. Average dice roll say that I lose them. But no. also, I haven't rolled any yet, so I'm going to roll all of these fives! 
Ah, cool, he's got one wound left. Bloop. Alrighty, uh, Hive Tyrant turn now? Smite. Smite, straight ahead, yep. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I needed a six, so that's good. Three more. Ooh. One's got a wound left. Go for the Neuro Parasite again. Yeah, I need a seven, whoops. And you don't get it on a six. Good. Aha. Uh, that Psychic Phase down? Yes. Shooting. Shooting now, Hive Timer, point blank into the squad. Yeah. Hitting on twos. Wounding on... Uh, Three's nine, right? Yeah, sweet. Three's. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, four pinball. Nope, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. He's dead. Trevagon's gonna shoot in. Uh, it's sitting on threes. Okay, not bad, not bad. Strength five. Fours. Ooh. Okay, Could kill him. four saves. Kill him. What's the AP on this? Minus one. He takes a wound. Hmm. Humor Keller's gonna scream over here. Oh, uh, what? Uh, D6. Uh, uh. Three. Three. Oh, just one, of course. Strength? Uh, seven or eight, so five. Oh, that'll do. What's the AP? Minus four, one damage. Four up. Yeah, he doesn't care. He loves the Emperor. Ooh. And no shooting from the Death Leaper? No. Nope, so we're going to get ready for charges, I believe. Yes. Charging is going to begin right here. Do it. I dare you. You've done it. Called my bluff. Death Leaper is in. Okay, cool. Uh, what's next? Carnifex. Real killer. Mm. Uh, I think I measured it. You were needing a four. If I tangle footed you, that would have stopped it. You could have rerolled though. Now that that's complete, we're gonna come over here. Charging Hive Tyrant in. Yep. Ah, he makes it, no problem. Erg, erg. Erg. Not popping any strats as the Death Leaper swings in. He has six attacks. Okay. Because one gets reduced by yes. the Shadow Keepers. Hitting on twos. Good start. And I think wounding on threes. Yep. Ooh. Only okay. three. So it's three winning hits. What's the AP on this? What did I say? Minus two? I wasn't paying attention. I forgot. I was thinking about <laughs> Me too. Stuff. Four up save either way. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, good. The plan is starting to work. That's bad. Oh, that's fantastic. For me. For me. Um, I get to do... So technically, I get to swing with him now. It's not going to make a huge difference. I'm just going to make the swings because he's got the strike first ability. Over here! Uh, choose to hit! Cool. Uh, these are auto wounds. These are going to wound you on fives. Cool. Uh, that's three wounding hits. Goes to your invuln save. Four up. Oh, well, that's fine. Look at you go. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> it's not. Swinging over here now. Gonna use the adrenaline surge. So you're gonna get extra attacks. Do you reroll to hit or wound? No rerolls to hit or wound? Okay, I'm gonna pop one for the arcane genetic alchemy. What's your strength? Strength is um, six plus one for the adrenal glands. Oh, it's not even that good. Uh, it would make it so he only wound me on fours, but would I rather save that for a reroll then? How much damage are each of his attacks? Three. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna save it for a reroll instead. Okay, go for it. Do your best. So, D3 three three extra attacks on top. Three, three extra three. attacks. Okay, that's. Uh... So that's 13 attacks. Yep. He has 10 plus one on the charge. You reduce it by one, and then it's three extra attacks. That's insane. Okay. What are you hitting on? On drop dice. Don't throw dice at me. On threes. Hitting on threes, okay. That's oh. not good. Wah, wah. That's not fantastic. I mean, it's still enough to kill me. Uh, wounding on threes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, fine. Four ups. <laughs> I'm gonna command point. We re reroll one of those. No! Does Trajan give me the command point back? No, he doesn't. Oh. Well, that's them dead. That's your objective. That's unfortunate. Moving over here to the Hive Tyrant. 
Yeah, annoyingly, one less attack. Yep. Only four. Hitting on twos. Oh, well, that, that works. Yeah. Wounding on twos. Twos, twos or threes. Uh, that's enough more wounds to kill him, anyways. Yeah. Blip. Pop. He's dead. Swinging over here into the unit. Hitting on twos. Looking for twos. So they all wound. You had catalyst on them though, right? Yes. Okay. So that's six dead, plus the knife hits, wounds, that's minus one. Oh, so you make it. So there's six dead there. You have one more than you started the uh, turn with. And here come the Termian Swings. Te and we also got to technically resolve a couple other ones. We're doing a little bit out of order, but it doesn't matter anymore because we can't manipulate it. So go ahead and get the swings here. So six left? Yep. Give them plus one. You get yeah, you give them plus one to head. So And then you look for sixes. Yeah. You monster. Yeah. Two up armor. Nice fun. Whew. And apologies for being out of order. I get overly excited. Uh you two resolve against the blade champ. Let's see what you get here. Only hit on fours, right? Yeah. Uh, three two wound, one wound, minus one. Oh, how much damage? Two. Not bad. And now I've got to resolve against the Death Leaper. Huh. You've upset these gentlemen. Uh, you minus one to hit? Yes. Oh, that's a pain. What's your toughness? Five. Hit on threes. Okay, pretty average roll there. I'm wounding on threes. Okay, we got four winning hits. You got a four pinball? Yes. Feeling two, that's four damage total. Three left. Okay. Not bad. Okay. And I believe that that's the end of the turn. All right, so let's calculate your points here. Not managing to take that objective. You did take this one though, so that's two, uh, three, Four points you get. Bringing you two? 13. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's do Custody's turn five. This is going to be a quick one. Command phase. I get to change the order. So I'm basically going to change it so that the Rendax was the last one now and use the last ability of Rendax, which is the uh, sixes to hit against a monster auto wound. It's not going to make a huge difference, but I don't know, it sounds kind of cool. There's no imperatives left, so let's just go over to movement. Trajan, you need to go kill this thing. I'm going to foolishly stay engaged there, because I need to kill you. Uh, as we move over to this side, the bikes are just going to hide. And get me my two points. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter if I put them... Uh, no, they're going to hide. Give me my points. I like that better. So let's maximize. Boop, boop. <sighs> You're going to stay engaged because I make you guys swing last. Yes. That's the plan. It'll be a very simple turn. I'm just staying there. There's um, not a whole lot going on. Uh, shooting. I uh, can't shoot. Uh, you, sir, are going to throw pistol shots at the big gribbly tyranid over there. Hitting on twos, and then wounding on uh, sixes. What's the toughness? T7? Yeah. Okay, so fives. Uh, one wounding hit. Minus one. Three up. Oh. Ah, take a damage. <laughs> Down to six. Chip. And then Oops. shots here. Trajan, he hits twice. He does not wound, but that's A-OK. -okay. Six pistol shots into the Death Leaper. So I'm going to hit you on threes now. Not bad. Uh, these are fives to wound. But your character, so I think I get rerolls here. We got four wounding hits. AP minus one. Four and one. I think one. you take two. Let me check. He's got one wound left. That's it for <laughs> shooting. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, Trajan. The Blade Champion? Does he have a pistol? He doesn't have a pistol, no. Oh. He's got a sword. Oh. Uh, Trajan's gonna charge current effects. Are you overwatching? Yeah. I make it. Yeah. There we go. There we go. <sighs> and then, uh, is that really, that's really it then, eh? Well, he's going to tell the Termagants they're swinging last this turn. And I'm going to go over to Trajan, who's going to try to murder that monster. Six swings with Trajan, two's to hit. And he rerolls his own hits, and sixes are auto wound because you're a monster. Okay, so these all hit. And strength 10, so I'm wounding you on threes. No. No. Um, I'll keep it. These are minus three. So you get a five up save? Mm hmm. Okay. They're three damage base each, so they go to two damage. So even if I reroll one, he's. I gotcha. Dead. He's toast. Does he get angry? No. Come up first. <laughs> um, does the Death Leaper have a strike first ability? It means Death Leaper gets the swing. How much damage is he? Two damage. Okay, cool. I will allow the swings, good sir. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Do we both mentally prepare? Uh, Does he hit on... No, he hits on twos, doesn't he? He hits on twos, yeah. yeah. Okay. How, and I would use your attacks. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, and he wounds on threes? Yep. Oh, better. It was minus three, I think. Okay. I need four ups. And he's how much damage each? Two. So that kills one, wounds another, and I'll accept that. I'm gonna come over here now and take care of this swing. Ha! Okay, and then, does not wound. Five wounding hits onto you, good sir. You get your four up. Well, finally, take two more damage. Oh, down to nine. And then let's go over to here and swing at the Death Leaper. So I get six attacks. Uh, I could spend a campaign point and get two extra attacks, which I think I'm gonna do. That's the one where um, if I'm below my starting strength, I get an extra attack with everybody. Does Trajan give me the command point back? Stupid Trajan. Uh, so I should get a grand total of eight attacks here. Uh, hitting on threes. No! Oh, I gotta check where my reroll is. I think it's wounding characters. Let's reroll the wound roll. Threes to wound. Reroll the wound roll. Three wounding hits. Make those saves, friend. I need to make all of them. No. So even with the reroll, down he goes. And that becomes, or remains, my objective. Well, last but not least, bike captain swinging in. He hits with everything. He kills five, and then the knife hits, and you owe me a save. Okay, so I kill six total, which is, I believe, the unit. Not bad. So not managing to snag that objective, because you've still got models over there equivalent to me. Oh, sorry, you get to swing here. The most exciting combat. Oh yeah, two attacks. There we go, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna score one, two, three, four, five more points. The end of the turn, I'm gonna go up to 21 points to your- 13. 13. So looking at the board, we've talked about it, we've decided to- End the game. So we're gonna call it there. So excellent game, sir, this was a ton of fun. Um, just because you can't get enough points to kind of claw your way back. Let's move over to um, post game show. Before you get into that post game show, don't forget we have another Warhammer 40k battle report in the mini Wargaming Vault. I will be playing my Tyranids against Michael's Blood Angels. You can click the link below to get your free seven day trial. Enjoy the post game show.
absolute nail biter of a game. Good game, sir. What do you think? This was, uh, because we had talked about it uh, pre-game, and I gave you some different options for armies to play, and you asked to play against the Custodians. Um, so you feeling, you, 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 uh, like that choice still? Were they fun to play against? Do you regret picking them? Yeah, absolutely. It was, uh, great fun. Um, I always wanted to play against them, and, uh, yeah, they, um, yeah, exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Emperor's Finest. The, most definitely the Emperor's Finest. Uh, I'd, I'd say I might be a little bit rusty with them, but this was a game that really kind of tested both of our capabilities with the weird. You can only charge things seven away, but you also weren't allowed to advance, uh, and you cannot shoot or psychic things more than 18 away. Really weird, weird game. Um, for manipulations and all that, for movement. This was a very movement-heavy game, and it was unforgiving because of the lack of advances. So, I don't know, I like these open war missions. Have you played open war missions like this before? Yeah, I have. Okay, yeah. This is my preferred play style. So I use most of the match play rules. It's just to determine the mission, I use the open war deck. And then the draft format we do is basically the Star Wars draft. And I find that usually, I don't know, it's a feel good for both opponents. You can come up with a pretty wacky mission and uh, it, it reduces the likelihood of a big time feel bad for one of the opponents. Yeah, that's true. So. I don't know. I'm exhausted. I had a ton of fun. Any, what was your big game-defining moment? If you had to pick one that was swung the game one way or another. Yeah, maybe the big mosh pit here, which yep. hampered my movement up on that flank. Yep. Um, because I didn't have enough on the other flank to threaten your objectives. And so my, my Termogons couldn't get uh, through that uh, alley here. Yep. Yeah, that probably was one of the big ones. You definitely had the numbers to kind of mess with me, but I had some hitting power. Trajan's a beast, but Trajan's a lot tougher to play when you can't advance him to where he needs to be to threaten. Um, I mean, often I will happily give up his shooting and charges to get him into a position to threaten with his um, heroic interventions and to give out his aura. But now, excuse me, hindsight being twenty twenty, anything you would do differently, play differently in this game. Yeah, as you said, uh, movement was key in that spe specific mission, and I think I wasn't perfect on that with the placement of uh, Termagans, and uh, also the Exocrine was a bit out positioned. Uh, I should right. have held it more back um, so that you couldn't tie it up. <coughs> yeah, I tried to reduce it, so I mean, like, something was going to get through and kind of come at me, so I didn't mind that it was going to be the Exocrine. Uh, the terrain effects, the. For me, the big clutch one was uh, not taking down the Tyrann effects uh, on the turn I went in. That was a big, a big one for me. And then also the Dreadnought failing his charge, my Telamon failing his charge into the Turvagon. Because if I could have bullied that Turvagon out of the way, um, it would have made holding that objective in the back there much more difficult for you. So, I don't know, I had a blast. Yeah, it was, it I was amazing. So much fun. Thank you. Um, now I always say for folks, um, Leave some comments down below, uh, whether you are entirely sure we got rules wrong, you know, put those comments, or if you're not sure, sometimes I do a poor job of explaining things, so you can always ask for clarifications. Either way, timestamps always help me figure it out, because I do my best to reply back to folks in the comment section. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had a blast. Hopefully you guys had fun watching. Any closing thoughts for everybody at home? No, I don't think so. It was <laughs> last time exhausted. I need, to, I need to have a drink. Yeah, you and me both. Well, thanks so much for coming in, viewers. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you had fun. Uh, keep being awesome, and as always, happy wargaming.